Right, so welcome back to Adventure 82. You find me today out Bully Bay. Not much call to be out Bully Bay these days, but uh, there was once upon a time when this hotel just next to me called the Water's Edge was going. It was uh, a popular hotel in its day. Started in the 1950s to help house the many people that were coming over to visit the island uh, post-war holidays. Obviously money didn't go as far, but uh, 2017 they closed it down permanently and there's been a lot of umming and ahhing since especially some controversy which started last year over what it was going to be turned into and what it should be but for now what we're here to look at is what's left of it and the condition it's gotten it into in the meantime so let's go have a look around Right, so these are actually public access stairs because there used to be a cliff path up here, which I believe now has been subject to a mudslide. But it also leads you into the top half of the hotel, which is, as far as I'm aware, the only bit you're actually allowed access to because it's a bit echo here. Because, um, look at that. Yeah, it's the only bit you're allowed access to because the rest is shut off and there's a sign at the main entrance which I showed you at the beginning that says that under no circumstances are you allowed inside the hotel. There you go, look, see, I told you about the cliff path. But uh, let's have a look at this. So this used to be the way directly down from and up to the swimming pool and what used to be the cafe. This, this was all a cafe area. And look at the view you would have had from up here. Who would want to sit and have a coffee and look at this? It's beggar's belief why the people who own this hotel would want to knock it down and turn it into a house. <clears throat> Essentially just for themselves, which is what's caused so much controversy. Plan was put forward last year in 2021 to demolish this and build just one house with a couple of rented out sections on the side with a tennis court and everything and basically turn the whole area into a millionaire's playground. And you can see why, from the view and things that I showed you before, people aren't happy with that. I'm cleaning up the first one here, it's been tagged. Whoever you are, I don't, I'm not sure about graffiti, but you're pretty talented, I do like the picture. This is all looking a bit worse for wear now though. not been used. I wonder what this was. Sink there, so maybe washing up or something for um, the cafe staff or something out here. I'm not sure what that was for. There's a sink there. Little area under here too. Look, this little, must be a storage area by the looks of it. Yeah, there's electric wiring under there. I'll just show you, look. There you go. All right. So yeah, from what information I can find at the Water's Edge Hotel, plenty of pictures, not much of my written information. Uh, started out in the 1950s, because of course pre-war, or sorry, post-war, people didn't have a lot of money. So they were looking for places to go on holiday they weren't too far afield. People didn't have the money to go and fly to far flung places because um, it was too expensive. So Jersey got Jersey's tourism boomed through the 50s, 60s, 
uh, 70s and the 80s as well when I was a kid actually. Uh, back in the 80s started to end off and then 90s dropped dramatically mainly due to the states uh, choosing to put all their eggs in one basket with finance but that's a that's a different story but uh, Beggar's belief this shot in 2017 it's what five years ago and the condition it's in they've clearly started doing some work on it some of it by professionals clearly other others like if you look at this window by vandals but um Yeah, it's, what a state. I had a couple of people uh, mention to me in a couple of previous videos that my filming wasn't quite as smooth as it has been. So being extra specially careful today to um, be steady for you and not wobble the screen around every five minutes. This, I don't know. How much you guys know about it but um i film with a sony camera and um it's really good for pictures it takes good film uh it films in hd but its stabilization is a bit rubbish so i'm hoping to get a gopro to fix that problem Let's see what's in here we can see yeah, see that's been gutted. Don't know if you can see through there on the camera. There's probably a bit of reflection. I do apologise for that, but and the rubble. That's another massive hole there. Look at that weed growing out of it. That's uh, that's a complete mess. This is looking a bit dodgy, but um, oh, there's a ladder to go down there. But um, it's just all rubbish down there. Look at it. Come across here because there's a door. Misted window though, so I can't show you what's in. It's another smashed window down there that's been repaired. You can see like where workmen have started working on here. But then, for whatever reason, plans were changed. Like I um, say, the original plan was to build it into multiple rental accommodation, as far as I'm aware. But um, yeah, then they changed it last year, the people who own it, to uh, trying to build a single house for themselves with a couple of bits of rented out accommodation. And uh, that's not gone well. Uh. So I'm guessing, I'm looking at this, that some work was underway, but it uh, was halted, I'm guessing, whilst they look into whether or not they're allowed to actually build it. Right, we'll have to go back the other way in a minute because we're running out of places to go this end. And uh, I'll take you back the other way and we can look at... Uh, the old swimming pool I mentioned before, which is what this was mainly accessed for. But, uh, such a mess. Absolute mess. I, um, years ago, going back about two, or oh, I said years ago, about 2004, I used to work for a uh, shop, a Main Street shop, High Street Company, uh, UK one. But, uh, oh, hang on, look. See if I can zoom in on that window for you a bit. Uh, that's really much good, but. Right, there we go. Broken pipe there, look. Right, so yes, I used to work for a high street chain um, of shops that also no longer exist um, over here in Jersey. 
Um, and uh, I used to run their highway company, the highway side of their company for them. And uh, they used to do like wedding fairs where people would come and uh, look at the different places that I'd chosen to display the, what, what they had to offer for people's weddings the following year and stuff. Anything from like wedding dresses to, with our hire where we did like the men's side of things, we did like cravats, ruches, tailcoats, that kind of stuff. Even the top hat. And uh, yeah, so we did that. And um, yeah, that was held here. It would have been in the, what they class as their conference room, which I believe would be the room below this blue roof here, where you had the cafe on top originally. But um, yeah. Right, let's go have a look at this pool. Right, I made it through the most, I suppose, jungle reminiscent part of the pathway. You've got the uh, emergency exit there, that's looking a bit worse for wear and all. But yeah, I made my way, making my way through what is now, looks a bit like a jungle, let's be honest. Um, I'd like to apologise for the sound on this today, I'm trying a new way of using my new microphone I told you I was getting. I don't know how good or not the sound is on this one, I won't find out until the edit, but um, if it's not too brilliant, we can always go back to be using the, the uh, regular lapel mic like I have been doing. Dodging so many brambles. Yeah. Right, so this would have been the way up to the swimming pool. He says fighting his way through. Oh, yeah. You've got all the uh, tables with the uh, parasol stands there. What's the parasols? Another broken window. Oh, right, the parasols are behind the door. So that's your parasols. So that explains where those are. But um, yeah, if we come back out of here, There's another one next door, which has not got much in it. Okay. So they stored the tables and the parasols in there, but these two actually would have been changing rooms. You can see there, look, there's a um, little bench there for you to get changed on hooks. So these would have actually been changing rooms for the swimming pool. These, I believe, the toilets. Yeah, someone's been there. Had a smashing time too with the mirror. But, uh, it's, yeah, it's like five years ago is all it was. And already, it's quite the state. Look at that. I know a lot of this will be down to the coastal weather as well because it's so close to the coast. But that's just so rough. Look at it. Right, so we'll go up here now. Another set of stairs there. This goes down the back of the hotel. We'll have a look down there in a minute. But um, behind me here, that's the swimming pool. And up there, there's another set of stairs. I don't know where that goes. We'll have a look at that. But it's just... I understand. How can this not have been doing business? Look at this. So I'm guessing where you would have had your tables with the parasols that have now been put away. They'll never be used again. You've got a little pool there I'm guessing for sitting in. It looks like it's got a little bobbler so it may have actually been even a spa pool. And then you've got the, what would have been the main swimming pool here which is much deeper but <laughs> you don't want to swim in that. That's not looking cool. So, 
everything's just so battered so quickly I don't understand yeah I mean a lot of the hotels in the island have been struggling for some time but um, I'm not sure all of them were struggling as much as some others I think some of them were down to just greed look at that right let's see if I can fight my way through is it spiders webs it's like spiders webs and brambles oh dear things I do for YouTube right Ugh. you're so lucky Eric is not here she does not do spiders right we're inside what would have been the swimming pool bar you can see Lydia over there getting your b-roll so when you see the b-roll you know who did that but uh, look at that ivy's growing in here now the sink well you won't want to wash anything on there now uh, even a barbecue I'll try and move out the way of the window the lights kind of were ruining it it's just Oh, there's gas attachments there. So they must have done bar and barbecue things up here for people. There's another door here to go out the back. You can see where some stuff's been removed, had shelving. Something electrical was here on the wall. You can see where it was attached. It's just... It's interesting because some of it, like you look like here, for instance, underneath the bar, and you'd swear it was more than five years it's been left here. And then other bits, like when you look at the barbecue back there, which you were looking at before, it's, it, it's like someone just kind of abandoned the place. And I suppose technically they have. But. Uh, right let's see what's up these as far as i'm concerned mystery stairs i don't know what's up here i'm guessing maybe like some gardens or something for the residents let's have a look all right so we've got a gravel path that goes that way and it comes across here and then goes off that way so that just goes end to end that's what that is right so what's up here Wow, so this would have been, yeah, you've got proper flower beds, so she must have been able to sit. I'm guessing you would have had tables and parasols up here as well and that look out over the bay. I'll show you the view in a minute. But look at that, that would have been proper flower beds with proper flowers and stuff in it. An electric socket there, so I must have had lighting or something up here as well. Excuse the wobble, I'm having to switch hands. Um, that's insane. Right, so, as I said when I came up here, so I'll show you the view. Look at that. Who wouldn't want to sit here and see that? You wake up on a summer morning, you see that, you're not going to believe you're in a little island only a few miles off the south coast of England but you are look, even with the palm trees this must have been such a popular hotel I didn't um, I didn't come up this way myself very often so the only interaction I ever really had with it like I say, it was back when I did that wedding fair I mentioned to you earlier. But look, they've even got a lot of greenery. Yeah, that's all they had. And, uh, I, I know when I came down Bully Bay a few times to do other things, it uh, always looked really busy. There was always people going in and out. I mean, even that view, look, that's not the sea, but look at that. That's stunning. 
Right, I'm gonna find my way out of this section. And we'll go back down and we'll look around the back of the hotel. Right, as we're fully aware normally, when one of my videos cuts to me sat on these stairs, I've normally done something wrong. And for a change, that isn't the case. What has happened, however, is that the video you've been watching has turned out to be a lot more footage than it seemed when I was filming it. Uh, so we're having to split it into two. Uh, basically, so you don't get bored of seeing the same thing. So that's the end of part one. Part two will be next week. Um, and along with part two, uh, you'll get the original end video. Um, I will be uh, at some point in the next few days, because the video first one's just come out now, I will be putting on the Adventure 82 Facebook page um, the pictures that I took while I was there because um, I'm trying to keep the video length down now because some people don't like them being so long uh, so with the railways it kind of works with these kind of things it's not going to work quite so well um, so I'm going to start posting the photos I take on site essentially um, onto the Facebook page of Venture 82 so if you want to see those um, do uh, follow the Facebook page there obviously if you want to keep track of my videos don't forget to subscribe and click your little bell icon for notifications so you know when they pop up um, and uh, yeah I'll see you in the next video also just remember before I go uh, I'm looking forward to the next few videos as well because uh, Paul you saw in the video prior to this is uh, taking me out to do another series, an actual series of videos this time. Him and uh, one of his friends hopefully will be able to join us. Uh, so we've got that to look forward to as well. That's a nice drawing, so that's something nice for you to look forward to um, and uh, watch. Um, I know I'm looking forward to making them. So um, until next week, next Sunday, I'll uh, leave you to have a, another wonderful week. I'm sure you've had one so far. Thank you.